helping us talk things through with Uncle Ip. Good thing you were able to pick up on what we were putting down. I have been around the both of you for some time now. You could say I have a certain level of expertise in that regard. As for my role in the conversation, think nothing of it. I hardly did anything noteworthy. <laughs> you never change, do you? Uh, why did you have us walk all this way? Paimon thought we just had to go far enough to be out of earshot. A friend approaches. Hello. So, you're here too? I've been here the whole time. A ghostly kite. Could that elusive director who be coming to Wangshu Inn once again? What is she doing here? Oh, I suppose it matters not. Given her relationship with Rex, well, Zhongli, I might as well go pay my respects. Huh. It's you. I thought you were Director Hu. Ah, your arrival is most fortuitous. Do you want to try out this new gadget? The addition of the power source makes the takeoff more stable. It's just that... He seems quite immersed in the study of this device. I fear it's almost too stable. It completely negates the pleasure of seeing one's kite sway with the wind. It's a bit of a shame. In truth, I'm here because Director Hu dispatched me to purchase some items in preparation for Lantern Rite. I see. Much like she does every year. Much like she'll do next year, I would imagine. Hmm. Ugh. Am I wrong? Or has she once again sent you out to buy... What is it? Sesame oil or something? While we're on the subject, I do wonder why she is so obsessed with using sesame oil in the preparation of mixed vegetable dishes for Lantern Rite. A recommendation from Shang Ling, perhaps. What do you think, Xiao? I've only met Director Hu a few times. I'm hardly the best person to ask. Ah, and is that not a sign that you should visit Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor more often? It wouldn't hurt to grace the parlor with your presence now and again, when you are otherwise unoccupied. This one here is a traditional kite, one without any equipped mechanical device. Director Hu tasked me with studying the differences between the two to determine which one is of greater merit. Many hands make light work. Perhaps you could test out the other kite for me? All right. I have made my comparisons. If speed is what you're after, the mechanical kite is the better choice. Wonderful. I shall pass that information along to Director Hu. I'll leave these two kites with you. Perhaps you can find a few friends with which to partake in the activity. You might find it to be an enjoyable use of your time. Oh, uh, wait. Who enjoys kite flying? Well, I would imagine someone of your talent and wisdom is more than capable of finding out. So, you were testing out the kites for Hu Tao and even roped Xiao into doing it for you? Paimon didn't ask earlier because the situation was uh, awkward. I would hardly say I roped Xiao into anything. I simply sought the help of a friend. Besides, we did the testing together. Tja, der Wettbewerb ist jetzt allerdings nicht das Wichtigste. Do you like kite flying, Xiao? I suppose I neither like nor dislike it. Although, watching a kite gradually ascend into the sky does bring me a certain peace of mind. Perhaps they're a bit like shell lanterns in that way. Hmm. Kite flying is also a pleasant form of relaxation. Have you ever thought about making a kite, Xiao? Cloud Retainer taught us how. We can teach you if you want. There's no need. 
Minogius was the only Yaksha among us who had an interest in matters of ornamentation and design. When Lantern Rite is over, come find me near Pervasi's temple if you have the time. Äh, ja, theoretisch haben wir den eigentlich immer noch nicht fertig gebaut. Sicher. It's getting late. I should go inform Director Hu of our findings. How's she been, by the way? Be sure to say hi to her for us. The last time I spoke to her, she mentioned that she would be visiting Chao Ying Village in a few days. If you have the time, perhaps you could also make the trip. If you happen to run into her, you can pass along your regards in person. We'll keep that in mind. Take care, Xiangli. See you later. See you next time. Uh, uh, Coming. Uh, 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 you can go first. I don't have anything to say. Then I'll go. I still don't want to leave Liyue Harbor. Oh. I can't say I support that decision, but... <sighs> Hey, let me finish before you get all worked up. <sighs> sit, Shinha, sit. You must be tired from your journey. Shall I pour you a cup of tea, or would you prefer something else to drink? No need, I'm not tired. They're gone, Master. Perfect. The time is nigh for us to make an appearance. Do you remember the plan one recounted to you? Yes, Master. We aim to give them a demonstration of familial love. Yeah, that's kind of a So I'll have whatever you are having. All right. What are Auntie Shen Yun and Shen He doing here? Just how many people are involved in this scheme? I suppose all I can do is just take a seat and see what happens. Perfect. I just so happened to have bought some Sanglo tea recently. It's quite the delectable variety. Or it would be if one has not been forced to drink it every day in the hopes of whittling down one's considerable stash. One has more than had one's fill already. Oh, forget it. Such thoughts detract from the present need to keep up the conversation. Has work been busy during the holiday season? Do you need my help with anything? Drunk guests can sometimes cause trouble, but I deal with them as you taught me, by pinning their heads against the table. Uh? Are Auntie Xian Yun and Shen He serious right now? <coughs> oh dear. While one was busy orchestrating this act, one seems to have forgotten about Shen He's various eccentricities. So wird das Ganze aber auf jeden Fall noch unterhaltsam. Hmm. What, what, uh, what I meant to ask was, have you made any new friends? We live so far from each other. It would be a great comfort to me to know you were surrounded by good companions. <sighs> you already know of my past circumstances. <sighs> Recently, I've been conversing with Guoba in the kitchen at night. Guoba can't talk. But his companionship is a comfort. <sighs> the poor child. Her one friend can't even talk. I guess... Maybe Gaming is not doing so bad after all. Perhaps I've been too hard on him. <clears throat> Let's move on, shall we? Do you have any plans for today, Shen He? How about we do something fun? That sounds about right. Take her to do something fun, and perhaps she'll loosen up a bit. Like we used to do when we would carry stones up and down the mountain from dawn until dusk, picking herbs to eat for dinner along the way? If that is what you ask of me, then that is what I shall do. Oh, das gibt der Sack jetzt wirklich ein schlechtes Bild für sie als Mutter ab. 
Dad, uh, here, have some tea. Or, or no, wait, let's not have any just yet. <coughs> yeah. Oh, I simply can't listen to that any longer. Coming. I'd like to finish what I was trying to say before. I don't support your decision to stay in Liyue Harbor, because living there is too hard on you. If you come home, there will be people to help you. I'm not saying we have to live under the same roof. I know our personalities are too similar to avoid butting heads. But you'll have your entire family around you. Your aunts, uncles, they'll all do whatever they can to help. You could get a less taxing job, and we could... We could grab dim sum together from time to time. Huh. I didn't know dim sum was such an important affair, Master. Shh. Just think about it, okay? You don't have to decide now. Dad really has changed a lot. He would never have said these things to me before. But I... Thank you, Dad. It's been long enough, don't you think? Oh, I'm unsure hopes they've made up by now. Oh, they're drinking tea in silence. That's not a good sign. Did Xianyan's plan not work after all? Uh, hey you two! Paimon's sorry we were gone for so long. We got to chatting with some friends and didn't realize how much time had passed. Perfect timing, actually. We seem to be just about done here. Yep, uh, let's go. I'll get the bags. <sighs> Gaming has grown a lot taller, hasn't he? Na gut, dann gehen wir jetzt erstmal zum Hafen von Liu, um die Waren auszuliefern. Andererseits, wenn ich jetzt erst noch mal hier bin, ein kleines Gespräch mit Mutter und Tochter, wäre jetzt erst auch nicht verkehrt. Weil das Gespräch lief jetzt erst nicht gerade sehr gut ab. Master, did I say something wrong earlier? I tried to go along with your questions. But when I saw how you and that man reacted, I started to wonder. Not at all. Certain unforeseen variables may have presented themselves along the way, but the outcome proved favorable. The plan was a success. Then I helped? Naturally. Your purity of spirit is one of your greatest strengths, Shenhe. You need not change who you are. Ja, so kann man es ja auch sagen. Und das ist natürlich auch richtig. So, dann wollen wir doch jetzt erstmal weitersehen. Wie wird das Ganze jetzt hier noch gehen? Jetzt müsste eigentlich ja schon längst Abend sein. Hm, nein, noch nicht. Hätte ich aber jetzt ja fast erwartet. Wir waren ja schon eine ganze Weile unterwegs. Oh, Charlotte ist jetzt auch mal wieder zugegen. You must be Mr. Ip. Thank you for coming all this way. My name is Charlotte and I'm a reporter from Fontaine. You can find me writing for the Steambird. I invited you here not just to purchase your fine tea, but also with the hope that you might be willing to sit down for a short interview. What do you say? An interview? To advertise my teas? I suppose you could think of it that way. We Fontanians are big tea drinkers too. The Fontaine Market. Then I'll need some time to adequately prepare. Perhaps we could sit down and discuss the questions you intend to ask in advance. Of course, of course. Please follow me. Is this person also involved in your plan? Naja, was glaubst du? And here I thought I had lots of connections. 
I suppose I've been humbled. You sure know all kinds of cool and important people. Over here! Yoo-hoo! Over here! Huh? But Auntie Shenyun? She probably wants to talk about the next phase of the plan. Let's go while your dad is still distracted. Tja, die nächste Phase des Plans. Wie sieht das jetzt der Sack aus? I take it that all is going well. Don't worry, Shenyun. Everything is going according to plan. I knew it. I knew that was all an act earlier. Auntie Shenyun is really something. She was so determined to help me. She didn't even care about making herself and Shanka appear foolish in front of my family. She truly knows how to look out for others. I still have a lot to learn. As for the next step... Oh no! What's wrong, Gaming? Don't tell me you're the ones footing the bill for all that tea. I can't let you do that. Fret not. Reimbursements will be made. Exactly! Think of it more as an investment, as Ning Wang would say. We pulled together the Mora so that Charlotte could place the order. She's gonna bring it back to the Steambird as a gift, as well as a sample of the regional specialty. Fontanians will probably fall in love with your dad's tea as soon as they lay their eyes on Charlotte's article. And once all the money from the new orders begin to roll in, getting our Mora back will be a piece of cake. Oh, okay. Business-related matters always seem to go over my head, but I refuse to let you all lose Mora on my behalf. I'll pay you back right now. We can talk about such matters at a later date. There are more important matters for you to consider at the moment, are there not? Yes. I've been thinking about it the whole way here. I have an idea. But I'd hate to cause even more trouble for all of you. Hmm. That is for us to decide. Yeah! We're all friends here! Plus, we wouldn't be here if we didn't want to help, right? Just tell us about this idea of yours. Okay. Whew. So, it's like this. Okay, Zeit für die letzte Phase des Plans, würde ich mal sagen. We need to do those things we talked about, but we also still have the kite flying competition. Since Xiao already tested out those kites for us, why don't we also go buy one of those mechanical thingamabobs or whatever they're called? We can attach it to our kite. Tja, wenn wir es montieren können, werden wir das Ganze jetzt auf jeden Fall mal in Angriff nehmen. So oder so sind wir jetzt auf jeden Fall mal wieder in die falsche Richtung eben gegangen. So oder so wird es jetzt langsam doch ein bisschen dunkler. Welcome back. I see you returned from your trip. I really do have to thank you for all your help from before. Thanks to you, my daughter was able to build a kite with her grandmother that very same day. She even wrote a long letter telling me how much she loved it. Oh, you should really be thanking Gaming, not us. Uh, I'll be sure to. And are you here to buy a kite? Please, take your pick. Oh, we already have a kite. We wanted to buy one of those, um, device thingies from Fontaine. Do you sell them separately? Ah, yes. Here you go. Please, take it, free of charge. The directions are in the box. It's not hard to install at all. Um, it doesn't feel right for us to just take it. Well, nor would it feel right for me to take your Mora. <laughs> Good luck in the kite flying competition. I'll be rooting for you. All right then, thank you. <sighs> it's done. Let's get down to business!
Tja. Die Zeit des Laternenrituals ist, wie es aussieht. Gekommen. Möge das Laternenritual 2024 beginnen. Oder auch vor allem jetzt erstmal der Drachenflugwettbewerb. Any pictures already? Uh, I need to load more film. Ach, das war mal wieder eine recht schöne Darbietung. Muss man einfach sagen. Ach ja, das war nun wirklich mal wieder eine schöne Darbietung. 
des Laternenrituals. Muss man einfach sagen. Wie immer einfach top. Und die Darbietung von Gaming. Wirklich beeindruckend, muss man einfach sagen. I suppose I'll go first this time. Okay. Your performance. I've seen many wushu dances in my time, but I've got to admit, what you pulled off there was breathtaking. Wow. I... I never thought I'd live to hear you say that. You're serious about doing this professionally? A absolutely. I I know it'll be difficult, but... Then it doesn't matter. What I mean to say is, of course it'll be difficult. But if that's your decision, if that's your dream, then it doesn't matter how difficult it is. As long as you put in the work, then any obstacle can be overcome in time. Really, when I was young, I also... <laughs> Actually, how about we save that story of my past for another time? All I really want to say is, I've changed my mind. And much like this kite, you also deserve to soar to new heights. Dad... Son... Son? <laughs> Haven't heard that in a while. I bet you're wondering what's gotten into me saying all this. Well, um... <laughs> a little bit, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I know I've never found a chance to say this before, but... <clears throat> to me, Gaming, you've always been a great kid. <laughs> All right, that's everything I've got. Did you have something you wanted to say, or...? <laughs> Seeing the two of them talk things through like this really gives Paimon a sense of accomplishment. Oh yeah, alles nur dank dir. Now go. Over there. Your friends are still waiting for you. Huh? But... You came all this way. I'll be staying in Liyue Harbor for a bit longer. When you have time, we can grab them some together. Your treat, right? Dad... Honestly... <laughs> <laughs> Go. <laughs> okay. Then I'm off. See you soon. That's quite the smile you've got there, Gaming. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, really? <laughs> It's nothing to be embarrassed about. Gibt es noch etwas, das du tun möchtest? Hmm. I'd like to find and thank Auntie Shenyun, as well as everyone else who's helped me out. If everyone has time, maybe we could all get together and go fly a kite. Tja, Milane fliegen schnelle ins Nest flink auf der Stelle. Tja, wirklich nicht schlecht. Diesen Teil des Laternenrituals haben wir, wie es aussieht, damit ja abgeschlossen. Doch scheint es ja, sag, an der Stelle... 
ja eigentlich ja immer noch irgendwas zu geben. Was ja zu machen gilt. Denn wie man jetzt sowieso hier bei den festlichen Ereignissen gesehen hat. Irgendeine Sache gibt es jetzt, sag hier noch. Wir haben ja die Sache mit dem Laternenritual jetzt erstmal hier abgeschlossen. Und ja, dann gibt es ja, sag wie es aussieht, noch vielleicht den Epilog dazu. Tja, wer weiß. So oder so gibt es ja, sag im nächsten Part noch was mit so aufs Laternenritual zu tun. Und dann auf alle Fälle fangen wir mal an mit den festlichen Aktionen. Würde ich dann mal sagen. Und damit sage ich an der Stelle jetzt auch erstmal Tschüss, bis zum nächsten Mal. Wo wir dann das Laternenritual 2024 dann wirklich wohl zum Abschluss bringen werden. Bis dann und schau bis dahin.